everyone. Welcome. This is James from Dude Knits. This is a new episode and today uh, you can probably tell from the title I have a little bit of a surprise for y'all. Uh, we are going to do my very first unboxing. Yeah! <laughs> this was waiting for me um, the other day which was really helpful because I had a very long day at work and so I came home and my feet hurt, my back hurt, you know, it was just a very long day, and so I got home, and there's a box waiting for me, I'm like, oh, my new yarn is here, I didn't even realize it was this close, I knew it had shipped, but uh, it got here pretty quickly, so uh, we're going to open all that up today, and I will show you all, and it will be a great time, and so, um, we'll get to it, so... Here we go. I have a package here. Let me just cover up my address. Uh, from Lion Brand Yarns. Woo woo. They had a sale the other day. Um, I think it was 20% off. And then if you had um, the Honey extension for, I think, Google, um, I got an extra some odd percent off. So that was great. Um, so this came in. This is the new yarn that I'm planning for one of my baby blankets. And so we are gonna open it okay, with the scissors. I know I always watch the yarn unboxing and they're like, you know, I don't wanna cut the yarn. I'm like, okay, you're not wrong. So, let's cut this here and brute force the rest of the way in. There we go, there we go, okay. Okay, Lion Brand, I see you, I see you. We got here, we got this nice diagonal lace shawl with 24-7 cotton. Very nice. Cotton, it's summer, it makes sense. This is a knitting, knitting pattern, so I will keep that. Uh, it does look very fun. Not too many rows. So yeah, I will keep that. Maybe I'll make that as a gift. It's not super my style, but we'll see. I got my packaging slip. That is helpful. And I have all the yarn. Woo -woo. So this is um, a Mandala yarn. This is by Lion Brand in the colorway Dragon. I ordered this. Let's see, does it give me a date on... I ordered this four days ago, so it got here within three days. That's pretty good, because I got this yesterday, so I didn't open it until today. I waited, how's with y'all, you know, gotta include my peeps. Um, yeah, so it got here really fast. I got four uh, cakes of the yarn. Let's see, does it give me a total that I spent? I don't think it gives me a total. So, yeah, no total, but I got it on sale with two different discounts, so um, I'm not complaining. Not at all. And so this is a lot of yarn. Um, Mandala Dragon by Lion Brand. So I'm going to open some of it up. The packaging is a little weird, so it's got three of them that come like this. All shrink-wrapped. Look at those colors. Oh my god, just look at them! They look so good. I'm going to keep it. Um, so it looks like one side didn't seal, which is okay. The ball band's not going to last long anyways. Let's be honest. I'm going to tear this all apart uh, when I get started on the project, which will not be today. Um, but here it is outside. Oh, I can squish it. it smells normal. It smells good. And I'll, uh, there we go. Let me get a shot of this for you all. Ooh, it is bright. Turn down the brightness. There we go. See, there you go for the people that want to read it at home. Cover up my face. Those are the details. So, uh, what we have here, I like this because um, you'll be able to color control this very easily. Let me turn the light back on. You'll be able to color control this very easily, which just means you'll be able to control when the color stops, when it starts. You can actually, and I'll try and do that in front of you all, um, pull out the different colors that are in here. Um, 
So let's read about the deets. This is by Lion Brand Mandala. Um, it is 5.3 ounces, 150 grams. It'll give you approximately 590 yards or 540 meters. So quite the distance, which is great. It is a lightweight three. Um, recommended needles are a US 5, a 3.75 millimeter. The recommended crochet hook, which is what I will be doing is crocheting with it, is a H8 or a five millimeter. So we will try that out and I will give you a sample of what that looks like. Um, so you can see, um, yeah, so this is machine wash, uh, machine dry, do not iron. Um, yeah, 100% acrylic yarn, um, which will be great for the baby blanket and the colorway dragon, uh, which is fantastic. Fantastic, so I love it. So um, the color control piece, let's see if it'll do it right here in front of you. I just dig in for the color and it should come up nice and neatly for us. Um, yeah, you can see it does it right there. You can literally just pull out the color you want and just push down the other color. Um, pull that right out and I'll be able to start using that right away. Um, and you can even cut it right from the center and start using different ones and just keep track of them all, which I might do because um, I want the blanket to go in a very specific color pattern. I want it to go from um, the lightest blue, well the, probably the deepest blue to the lightest blue to the lightest green and onto the browns. And so, um, but we'll see, I've probably said that wrong. That's okay. Um, I'll show you all when it gets time for that. I'll try and stuff it all back in there. It's probably not gonna stay, but that's okay because I will use it to do some sample swatches so you all can see what those will look like. So I'm gonna stop the video right now and I will be back with some kind of setup to show you what those sample swatches look like. So be right back. So this is what I've come up with for my setup to take a look at my little gauge squat, my gauge swatch. Again, this is the gauge of the Lion Brand Mandala yarn, and I'm not affiliated with Lion Brand. I bought this with my own money. I'm just doing my unboxing and seeing what this looks like. And so here's my little gauge swatch. Um, the color is pretty good here. Um, to do this gauge, I wanted to test different fabrics, and so I took a look at the very bottom. I did three rows of single crochets, then I did three rows of half double, then I did three rows of double crochets, which is my usual and my favorite fabric, which I'm not surprised by, and then three rows of triple crochets. Again, this is in American, and so if you're using um, different terminology, I apologize about that. Um, so this is how it turned out. It worked up really well. Um, coming out of the cake itself worked really well, which I'm very used to. You could just pull it right out of the center. Um, so it came out pretty easily, which is great because I will be looking to color control this. And so I'll be pulling out the different sections and combining them. And I will be going probably with the double crochets. I like how that looks the best. It's fairly soft for an acrylic yarn. Um, I do get in the habit of putting on some lotion every once in a while just because you get that plasticky feeling from this this yarn and so I do enjoy the lotion so it doesn't get as plasticky or my fingers don't get dried out as much. Um, so yeah it was easy to work with. It did feel a little bit thinner. Again it's a three weight so that's normal. Um, I used the recommended hook size an H hook which is uh, five millimeter. Um, I used all that to, to swatch this up. Um, it did squeak a little bit, which doesn't bother me when I work as long as I like the fabric, but if that bothers you, it's good to know. It did squeak when I used that, and that could just be me with my tension. Um, but yeah, it worked up really well. I enjoyed it. I will absolutely be using this. It frogs really well, no issues with that, and so if you did need to frog it, I mean, it just pulls right out, no snags, no issues, super quick, which I'm not surprised by at all. So overall, really enjoy it, absolutely going to enjoy getting started on this baby blanket project um, sometime soon. So yeah, that was it. That's the unboxing. Thanks everybody for stopping by and tuning in. I really appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye now.